Hello everybody and welcome to Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. I'm Jack and I'm here today with Joe. Um, as you can see, new season, new schedule. We have uh, finally decided on a schedule for Omnipoke for this for this um, sort of Pokemon year. So from September until August. Um, and we're here to explain that today. So Joe, if you want to look at the schedule. Yeah, um, so essentially we're committing to a weekly schedule where we're going to bring out a minimum of two decks per week. <clears throat> On the Monday, as you can see there, it's going to be standard format deck reviews. Uh, we're going to try and keep these uh, as competitive as possible, but as the weeks go on, I'm sure there'll be some space for some roguish concepts as well. Uh, both me and Jack do have a soft spot for different rogue decks and uh, non-EX based decks as well, so there's something for everyone. Uh, the top competitive players and also some budget players as well uh, can find something good to see on the Monday also. Um, on the Wednesday, uh, there's also the potential for battle videos. Uh, we have some poll questions, some straw poll questions down below for you guys to check out. Um, one of them is considering uh, splitting deck reviews into two parts. Uh, and on the Wednesday, potentially, you could see multiple battles with a certain deck um, to show off different matchups and how it plays in general, uh, which could be something that interests you. Alternatively, another concept we're going to be discussing is a ladder series that could be happening on a Wednesday. Uh, moving on to a Friday, it's most likely, well, it's definitely going to be expanded format deck reviews. And um, just coming back from a league challenge and uh, watching all the uh, review sites and everything about that, there's a lot going on about expanded right now. Everyone's quite hyped for it. And we're going to be uh, jumping into that as well, seeing so the UK is now having expanded as well. Um, so it's something we will be discussing often and reviewing. And then on to Saturday and Sunday, uh, there's space for extra videos whenever we feel like it, essentially. Uh, these sorts of miscellaneous videos here and there uh, based on um, what needs to be said, what needs to be shown off. And uh, Jack, what can you expect on a Saturday and Sunday for the viewers? So yeah, as you can see, there's a little list down there. Um, obviously, as new sets are released, you saw... For example, when Ancient Origins released, there was a bit more of an influx of videos from us. There was perhaps a video every day or every two days. That's still going to happen. When a new set's released, obviously there's loads of concepts all at once. So Saturday and Sunday is where you're going to see extra videos um, for new set sets. And then that's where you're going to see your set reviews. Um, we're also going to switch up set reviews a little bit as well, because obviously we're also having expanded in the UK as well. So um, I think we're going to relook at how we're going to review the set, re uh, we'll review different sets, obviously because um, they usually go on for about two hours. So we need to find some way of condensing it a little bit. Uh, that's where you're also going to see booster openings. We both usually get a box or two when new sets are released, so all booster openings are going to go up on a Saturday and Sunday as well. Tournament reports that we take part in and do particularly well out well at again probably not the weekend of the tournament simply because we're going to be at the tournament but the weekend after that's probably when you're going to be seeing those types of videos discussion videos about the format i.e. Lysander's trump card being banned rotation announcements all of that good stuff they're going to be the Saturday and Sunday um, as well as live streaming in the VS series uh, live streaming was something that I tried over the summer while I was on um, s school break and uh, I think it was pretty successful. I now know what I'm doing with the software, so I think I could um, sort of build up a stream pretty quickly, um, relatively spontaneously, and it wouldn't need a lot of me working out how to use the software all over again, uh, which will definitely make streaming a lot easier. And then again, at a similar time, we introduced the VS series, um, which was a series where we play against other famous players, famous YouTubers, um, and we're going to try and bring that back. We're going to try and get that a little bit more regular as well. Um, so again, that's where you're going to be seeing those types of videos on Saturday and Sunday. Um, but as you can see in the big green star there, the minimum of two deck reviews per week, you, you can be sure of that. Every Monday and Friday, we will be getting you a deck review no matter what. Um, come rain or shine, there will be one standard format and one expanded format every week. Um, like Joe says, if we begin to run out of competitive stuff, there's loads of rogue concepts, especially when it comes to expanded. So um, the possibilities for debt reviews are pretty much endless from here on out, as the UK is now getting expanded as well. Uh, we're going to have to be a little bit more hands-on with the expanded stuff. Um, so it's going to introduce some new concepts to us as well. Um, and then, as Joe said, we've got some straw polls down in the description. The straw polls um, are basically what I felt was the easiest way 
of being able to have you guys provide us with some feedback. If you don't have the time to perhaps leave an in-depth comment about exactly what you want, the straw polls will just let us guys, uh, let you guys show us what kind of things you want. A lot of them, well, they're all multiple choice, so they're all, they'll only take sort of 10 seconds each. Um, so if you haven't got time to leave a comment but you do want to express your opinion, let us know um, through one of these straw polls. I'm not going to take them down at all, I'm just going to leave them up because um, obviously there's no real reason to take them down. So every now and again I'll just double check the straw poll, see what people are saying, what people are thinking and we'll adapt the channel to um, accommodate for what you guys want. Um, but definitely make sure you vote on these straw polls because it's going to mean that you're more likely to get the channel that you want to see, um, which is always beneficial. So yeah, as you can see, um, the list of the straw poll questions are here. We've got deck review battles, um, deck review videos. Sorry, split into two videos. We could either have them, as Joe said, the um, deck reviews on the Monday and Friday, and then the battle videos on the Wednesday. So whether it be the expanded or the standard, it would be different each week depending on what either of us wanted to play. Um, but that's where you're going to see a battle with one or t one of the one of the two decks we're going to cover in that week. Deck reviews, would you prefer them on PTCGO or in real life? Obviously, there's now the proxying system on, PCD, on PTCGO. Sorry. Um, we couldn't battle with that system, but we can now at least show full decks on that system, even if we don't own the cards ourselves, which is really, really useful. Um, obviously, there's benefits to both, and in some cases, we are going to have to use one over the other. Um, but even so, if, we're, if we know what you guys want, we can accommodate a bit more for that. And then live streaming. Um, live streaming, like I said, is something that I tried in the summer and I think was really successful, um, at least with the people that saw it, because they all um, sort of said they'd watch them regularly. I can't promise regular live streams simply because I have, I'm have i in the last year of school, so it's, it's going to be really difficult for me to consistently pump out videos and live streams. Um, but as and when I can, I'm definitely up for live streaming because it was really nice to be able to interact with you guys as well. Um, it really made everything, it, it, it's really different to a video um, and it was really nice being able to talk to you guys while I play because I knew I got a sense of what you guys wanted to see from the channel as well so I am going to try and find a little bit more time to live stream perhaps once a month at least um, I can't promise once a week but perhaps m once a month I could definitely do that um, and in, the live streaming is definitely something we could integrate with the ladder series that Joe mentioned a little bit, a little bit earlier on which I'll let him explain now yeah, well, the ladder series is basically an idea that we've come up with to try and spice up that midweek gap. Uh, definitely, if you guys would rather the battle videos remain as part of the deck reviews, there would be a bit of a gap in between the weeks. So this is potentially an idea we got we both thought about to fill that gap. And it's essentially where we jump onto PTCGO, and each month the ladder resets, and there's a chance for us to uh, climb that ladder from start to finish. And essentially, we're going to be... Uh, you can get to follow my progress in that, and we're basically going to have to put some caps and some rules in place to try and make that more challenging as I go along. Um, there's different rules uh, that we can put in place to try and make it more difficult. For example, if I lose with a deck, I'm not allowed to play that certain archetype anymore. Or if I win three times with a certain deck, I've got to switch out decks. Uh, that way, you don't just see me each month going in with Night March and winning in 25 minutes, um, because that is pretty much possible on the ladder because um, just speed decks eventually are going to get you to the top of the ladder. But if we implement these sorts of handicaps for me, it could be more um, interesting to watch and we get to see some different decks that you might not see. Um, maybe one month I just play stage two decks or something like that. So it could be very interesting for you guys to watch and follow along with. Um, it's more than likely that you'll just see highlights each week of maybe more interesting games that I played or when something good or bad happened or when one of the rules gets, um, you know, I get really crippled by one of the rules that's put in place. So uh, it could be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if there's um, good demand for that. It will be in one of the straw polls, as we're saying. Um, and if there is a pop popular demand for this, also let me know uh, what sort of rules you would like to see. Um, we've put a few uh, broad outlines there as well. But also you can always leave a comment if you think there's a good little handicap that I could put on myself to make that ladder um, a little bit more challenging for me. And we can see if we get there each month. It would be pretty cool if we do. And maybe if we don't, we can have a forfeit or something like that as well to implement. Um, I really don't mind. It's all in the name of fun and uh, entertainment for you guys. So 
hopefully that's something you guys can jump on board with. Um, if you guys don't want to see a ladder series, maybe, um, it's completely okay as well. Um, just let us know if you just want to see more reviews, more more high quality stuff, more um, intense battles, who knows. Um, we're here for you guys, so just let us know what you want. Uh, with those straw polls, definitely, and also commenting down below never hurts either. So that's pretty good. Um, I think we're pretty much all set here. Um, these updates will be beginning as of next week, so that's September 21st. Um, there will be a few more videos this week. I think I'm actually getting one up tonight as well. Um, Vespiquen Excadrill, which is quite an interesting deck. Um, so um, that we can definitely see a few videos here and there um, before the 21st, but as of then, you're going to be guaranteed at least two videos a week. Um, so it gives you a real incentive to stay subscribed, uh, keep checking out the channel whenever you can, and really helps you keep in the know of what's uh, current and keep your thumb on the pulse for what's um, happening in the Pokemon trading card game right now. Uh, Jack, is there anything else you want to say? No, I think we've pretty much covered it. Like Joe says, it's just going to make sure um, we can consistently get videos to you guys, but you can also consistently contact us. Um, with Now we're doing two deck analysis a uh, videos a week and we're heading into expanded um after a few weeks we are going to need your guys suggestions especially um later on in the weeks when we've done a lot of the core concepts um so it's just going to mean there's always two videos for you guys to comment on um to get your opinions across to us we're going to stay as up to date with comments as we always have we pretty much reply to as many comments as we can um so yeah it's just going to hopefully be a bit easier on um, both of us to be able, both of both us and you to be able to co uh, contact one another, and um, we'll hopefully get some more videos out for you guys to be able to um, just watch and enjoy. And yeah, things like the ladder series are just um, some fun, unique ideas that we've ha we had um, when discussing the future of the channel a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we think it's definitely something unique that could be really fun, um, especially with the rules, r rule sets, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think we've pretty much covered everything there. Make sure you comment uh, if there's any extended opinions you have to share about what you'd like to see. Um, but if you've only got a few minutes, just head over to the straw polls. They won't take you very long. There's only, I think there's only five of them. So hopefully we'll get some opinions on those. Um, and we, we'll be able to adapt the channel based on the different things we see. Um, based on what you guys want. But yeah, uh, I've been Jack with Joe from Omnipoke with an update to the channel. Um, thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you in another video.